Yes, you're gonna see. Weightlifting, what is it? And why is it so gosh darn cool? I mean, there are other cool things that I've seen on the internet. Uh, the running man dance is pretty cool. I've been trying to perfect that uh, over the last couple of days. Drake is pretty cool. His new album is dropping soon. Views from the six. And let me tell you guys, I am stoked for that. Um, because that last song, One Dance, that just came out is straight fire. Uh, so, back to weightlifting. Uh, one really cool thing about weightlifting is competing. I know a lot of people are getting into weightlifting. A lot of people are going to be wanting, com wanting to compete soon. So, what this next series of videos is, is going to be me showing you guys how to prepare for a weightlifting meet. I have one coming up in about a month from now in North Carolina, May 21st, and my goal is to go six for six. What that means is I'm gonna try and hit all of my lifts at the meet, all three snatches, all three clean and jerks, and yeah, because that's something I've been lacking in the past is consistency uh, during competition. So that's my goal. I'll be taking you guys through my workouts. I'll be also showing you guys some other mundane things uh, like recovery strategies, nutrition, and things of that nature. Uh, so you guys will be really well covered in terms of how uh, to compete and how to prepare for a weightlifting meet. Uh, in this workout, I'm just going to be doing some snatch uh, practice, cleans, and some sled pushes, which suck a lot. So it should be fun. Yeah. Hold it for a second. Perfect. Perfecto. Yeah. Do you own anything other than Adidas? I've got one pair of Nike shorts and one Nike shirt. Really? This, I think they have uh, children with smaller fingers making the Adidas stuff because the, uh, the stitching is beautiful. Very intricate. <laughs> Fucks my lift up. My snatch especially. Stomping. <laughs> what the? Oh. I guess we're also going to clean today. Oh, we're supposed to do the clean drills, not the snatch ones. But I prefer snatch, so let's do both. Well, we're going to snatch and clean. And that guy never says hi or nothing. Bulls don't think you have to go crazy or anything. That was awful. There's not supposed to be pauses, right? <laughs> Mark, why'd you put the mat there? Benjamin Riddle he said I was jumping forward on my snatches, which is not something you usually want to do. Usually that's indicative of your weight being too far forward or you're kind of hitting the bar out with your hips instead of driving it straight up. And in doing that, you have to jump forward and catch it. So I put the mat there just as like a physical 
cue for myself to not jump forward. Um, there's a number of ways you can address it. Jumping forward with different uh, types of exercises. Pulls are one way. Um, high pulls are another pretty good one just to control your bar pad. And uh, a physical cue like just putting a mat here or something maybe a little bit thicker too in front of you. Rubber matting is a good way to stop yourself from uh, jumping forward. That is fucking me up. We have a we have a guy training here now, Chris Larue, who's he's got a laundry list of accomplishments to say the least. But he just started training here recently, and I've just been watching him train. And he's been helping me out a little bit. But uh, I was just watching him train yesterday. And he was doing snatch pulls, and like I'm not usually attracted to men, but his snatch pulls were on point, besides Ryan, but his snatch pulls were amazing. Uh, he's a great, great lifter, multiple time national champion. He's on Pan Am's, Pan Am team for a couple t uh, couple years. So yeah, it's really good. So you guys are gonna learn a lot. So am I, it's gonna be dope. That's another thing. Watching other good lifters and just being around them is a great way to get better. Um, I know training with Chris is helpful. He's always trying to get swell on. If I want to get a little pump before going out, I'll, uh, I know who to go to, the mountain dog himself. The mountain dog. Watching other lifters, so if you can, watch other lifters. It's a great way to learn. I want to watch you one time. That's, that's a good one. You keep going when I go. I don't have time to wait for you. People are mean, first of all. Some guy called me a smirky little bitch. And it's kind of, like it's kind of true. <laughs> it's kind of true, but keep that to yourself. You're scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> I'm thinking really hard now about uh, not letting my hips rise. You're kind of like that. Where you want to be. Like that's why that one piece drill off the floor helps a lot. What's really sweet is when uh, people leave their band-aids in the gym. This is a good quick little snack. <laughs> if you're low on iron, just pop it in, give it a good chew. Ah, uh, squeeze harder. You know what's gonna be dope? When Conor McGregor comes to the Strength Camp Challenge. I mean, I'm untapped in my career. I don't know about you. You're actually not, you're actually not untapped. Yeah, so I'm untapped in jujitsu tournaments. Um, but not in practice. I don't remember though, so it doesn't count. Also, have you been tapped in competition? Twice out of How many matches? nine matches. Good. In the finals. Both times? Damn. I got almost tapped. I was exhausted. And I basically let the guy just arm bar me. But time ran out right before my arm was broken in half. So pretty sweet. Untapped. Came out. Came out unscathed. Didn't have my arm broken.
I went to Publix and I PR'd my overhead egg carry. I had 30 eggs overhead in a carton, left hand while walking. PR. You can get uh, three cookies for a dollar at McDonald's. Wow. That was really good. How'd it feel? It felt a lot better. Yeah. Wow. I'm a really fucking good coach. Ryan is the least athletic person I know. When he started, he was 400 pounds. We've been training for two weeks. He's lost how much? 300 and... Yeah. Right around 300. He lost 300 and we added about 60 pounds of muscle to that. So, dropped down to 100, added 60, and now we're here. Results don't lie. I'm the provider of the drinks. We're back an hour later. Hello. Don't worry. She didn't get me a drink, I swear. I'm gonna... Can I have the uh, tea one now? Thank you. Yes, please. I never touch my own straw unless it's with my mouth. I'm Mark's assistant, so. Harder, faster. Nice. He's got to commit. The pole's looking better. That's the main thing, right? to use these. That's got them yesterday. I saw some Colombian guy using them. If you want to get stronger, you must do as the Colombians do. Oh, turn off the music. Rick's playing all the hits right now. Rick, uh, just yeah. plays all the hits all day. Dude, right when I just pointed the camera out there, he looked like straight into the camera. Oh so. my god. Chris, and, you can't give it away. And then, and then he screamed his name so loud. He can't hear you how loud his music is? No, bro, he's looking at his soul the world. You think he could hear me say, Rick? Is he? No, he's not. Oh. So based on my calculations, this is about uh, 185 with the plates plus these chains. They're made of metal, so it's probably what, 100 pounds each side? Metal's pretty heavy, so this is like 100, 200. 350. Around 385 pounds. Yeah. What we're gonna do, then Ryan's gonna go, then I'm gonna go, then Ryan's gonna go, then I'm gonna go, then Ryan's gonna go, then I'm gonna go, then Ryan's gonna go. <laughs> and then that'll be that. And then the workout's over. How do you feel about that, Ryan? Don't look at me. Get up, come on. Two more, come on. 
Get up. Come on, one more. Get up. Elbows, elbows, come on. Get up. Good, come on. Get up. Good, come on. Get up. Drive. Okay. <laughs> Five. Five, got it. Okay, I'm ready. Look out, Chris. So press, drop. Yep. Faster. Up, oh, come on. Get up. Get up. Get up, get up. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Hey. I forgot my keys and dropped this car. Oh, sweet! Thank God. All I'm worried about oh, is this sweet little got a sweet little light here, so I can find my keyhole at night. I should have texted. Yeah, I'm worried about What's up, people? Very good. Damn. Damn. Very nice. That's good. See you. See you. Practice. I didn't even know you were doing that. Oh. That's how you know it's real. That was a candid shot. You saw my snatch. You saw my clean. You saw... What else you see? You saw my sled pushes. 
That's about all I got to show you guys. Get out of here. This has been MTV Cribs, Mark Edition. All right, so you saw my snatch, you saw my clean, you saw, what else you see? You saw my sled pushes. That's about all I got to show you guys. Get out of here. This has been MTV Cribs, Mark Edition.